Well, why wouldn't they just buy Bitcoin? It seems to be to be a lot simpler than mining it. Then if it costs $350,000 to make $350,000, why bother with the mining? But, you know, you said it, it rewards more efficient people. Exactly. The, the short answer is if you have a way of securing electricity at less than five cents per kilowatt hour, then um, you should get into Bitcoin mining business. Uh, which is, you know, lower than most rates everywhere in the world. So if you have a source of energy that is isolated then from the grid, or if you have a cheap way of securing energy, then Bitcoin is a great uh, way. Mining Bitcoin is great, but for the most... So does that mean that Bitcoin is a very good way of moving resources from places that can produce electricity very cheaply to other places where electricity is more expensive? Does that actually make the electricity, the cheap electricity, it makes the cheap electricity much more valuable? Absolutely. It's uh, it, this is weird. That's a weird thing. It's it's very weird. I think it's going to have a very profound impact on the global energy market because for the first time in history, we have hmm. a way to sell energy that is location independent. So a lot of places in the world have a lot of energy, but it's very expensive to get that to the population center. So the north of Canada has an. So you don't need wires. Exactly. Jesus, that's weird. That's a really strange thing. Yeah, to get electricity from the north of Ontario to Toronto re needs a lot of wires or you need to, you know, if it was gas, you need to put it on tankers or on trains or in pipelines. All of that stuff is pretty expensive. But with Bitcoin, you just need an internet connection. You take the Bitcoin miners to where that energy is and then you can monetize that energy and turn it into Bitcoin. It's magic. So, so, so what's, the, what's the net effect of that on the price of electricity? Worldwide, is that is that is that deflationary with regards to le electricity cost? I think so. I think this is this is a point that I make in the fiat stand, which is that you know we've had fiat subsidize all these dysfunctional forms of energy over the last fifty years that have led to the grid becoming unreliable, and we have Bitcoin, <laughs> like the vigilante savior that it is, coming in and providing a global subsidy for anybody who can make electricity at a cheap rate. To monetize that, and I think well, not only at a global subsidy, but but so but so interesting because not only you could go to where the energy is cheap with virtual certainty that you're going to make more and more money as the value of the Bitcoin increases by by investing there, assuming you assume that the value of Bitcoin is going to continually increase, which is a logical presupposition if it's if it's as stable as as is claimed, and it's finite in the way that you're describing and increasingly widely accepted by vast numbers of people. So it's also an investment that's likely to increase in value over time rather than decrease. So it takes some of the uncertainty out of investing in cheap electricity generating processes that are geographically isolated. That's, I just can't believe that's true. It's, it's amazing that I, I, I think I must be misunderstanding because it seems like you can move the value of the electricity, electricity magically without any of the problems of transportation. Yes, exactly. Wow, that's really something. Like that idea that you can monetize energy production in, in, in areas that wouldn't be able to ship the electricity to market, that's, a, that's absolutely mind-boggling. It'll take me like five years to think that through. It's so, and it seems to completely contradict the idea that Bitcoin is a waste of in, of of the world's resources, right? It's it's a, it's a, it's a complete opposite if that if this monetization idea is actually true.